radiate through our being and through our person. So much to the point that people may see this city, see the light in us, be drawn and ask, what is the source of your light? What makes your light shine? May they see it in us, Father. May they see happy people. Let us see victorious people, joyful people, self-sacrificing people, self-denying people, prone to give more than receive, prone to die just so that someone else can be saved, prone to heal somebody rather than ask for the healing ourselves, whether to give than to be and then to, uh, then receive anything that you that you or they may give us. Give us this heart of Christ. The world is longing to see us transform into your likeness. So it is my desire and my intercession here that as we leave this place, may we fix our eyes upon Jesus, who is the author, who is the finisher of our faith, so that as we behold him, we'll be transformed into his divine likeness and the world will be a better place for it. May we all say it. Let the words of our mouth the of let the meditation of our mouth. may they be acceptable. May they be pleasing in your sight. Oh Lord, you are our strength. You are our redeemer. It is in the worthy name of Jesus that we ask these things. Amen. I'd like to invite you just one more thing. Open your hymnal to 350. Let's sing Bless Me and Tie the Vines. And then on the way out of here, hug a neck, shake a hand, and think about coming back to be with us at this church some other time. Bless Me and Tie the Vines, 350. Yes, yeah.
if we have more of this music in disc forms, the rocks will cry out. We have disc CD discs available on the table back there, and we would love to have you take some home. Amen? How much are they? Just five bucks. Five dollars. You can't go anywhere for five dollars. Take some home. They're beautiful. Remind yourself of this wonderful evening. And thank each and every one of you from the Berry and the land and Titusville and Daytona. Thank you for coming and joining us this evening. Blessings.